public to limit their Thanksgiving gatherings. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. Officials holding a press conference this afternoon providing an update on COVID-19 in El Paso. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields has our top story. City officials saying El Paso continues growing trend of hospitalizations and people dying from the virus. But they're optimistic new data from contact tracing will help mitigate the spread as the city prepares for the COVID-19 vaccine. We still have a dire situation in El Paso. City officials warning the public to avoid family gatherings over the holidays as El Paso is on pace to reach a thousand deaths by the end of the year. And unfortunately, we still see a large number of people passing away. We know that we have a lot of risk factors to develop a lot of complications and pass away. Mayor DeMargo saying updated contact tracing points to a hopeful trend, determining more than half of new cases stem from shopping. Why am I hopeful for that? Because that points out the areas that we, we need to address. For the first time in several weeks, the active number of cases reported declined on Thursday. The mayor hoping for a plateau. I don't know. I don't know that we've hit it at all. I, I remain prayerfully optimistic, but uh, uh, I'm not sure yet. Meanwhile, he says the city is ready for the highly anticipated COVID-19 vaccine. We'll have seven sites for clinics and distribution of, of the vaccine. The head of the El Paso Public Health Department reporting 139 local providers so far enrolled to administer the vaccine. It means that we're going to have a very large capacity for us to immunize uh, the El Paso community saying one person can administer more than 40 vaccines in a day. So if you had five vaccinators per clinic, then you know that you're going to have like 240 uh, vaccines, individuals vaccinated a day. Mayor Margo says the first batch of vaccines are expected at the end of the year, but those will go to a select few, including health care workers and those high at risk. Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much. A new attend, the El Paso County Commissioner's Court is now looking to hire several more 